upgrade to San Francisco's water system is now complete. And that means new infrastructure can withstand a magnitude 7 earthquake. KPIX 5's Wilson Walker shows us a Lake Merced pump station project. This started with a 2002 state law demanding earthquake resilient water delivery. Well, now, nearly $5 billion later, San Francisco has retrofit the entire system from Hetch Hetchy to the city, now crossing the finish line on the shore of Lake Merced. And we take water from an elevation here of approximately 30 feet. And we boost it to an elevation of 385 feet for Sunset Reservoir. 70 million gallons a day can now move through these pumps, and the station that houses them now feels more like a bunker. So this facility was rebuilt and was seismically hardened. That's a high pressure epoxy grout injection foundation. And then the facilities themselves are generally designed to withstand about a 7.0. Magnitude earthquake. For everything, there is redundancy. The pumps, the power. Two two megawatt generators that are used to operate the pumps when we lose utility power. The facility can also manage all of the city's water systems, including the high pressure tanks used during major fires like the one we saw by Van Ness back in July. We used our Jones Street tank, then we went up to our Ashbury Street tank, and now we're flowing water all the way from Twin Peaks all the way down here. And if absolutely necessary, the pump station itself can become a redundancy for firefighters with the ability to pull from the 2.2 billion gallons of water in Lake Merced. And in the event we did that, that is a non potable source that you've now put into a potable source. So it would change the potability. We would have to issue a boil water order. Nuclear option. That's what I can, that's what I call it, yeah. Now, as for the reservoirs like Sunset, where I am standing, they have been rebuilt as well over the last 20 years. The city says its water system is now ready for whatever comes next. In San Francisco, Wilson Walker, KPX 5.